Hi YouTube, looks like I'm on a search for a perfect case once again. This time it's not for the iPhone 3G, I'm still happy the Capsule Rebel, the case that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. This time it's actually for my new DSi. Um, I just got this a couple weeks ago, I still like it, still want to make sure it's not scratched up. So having said that, I um, wanted to find a case for it. Well, let's see, specimen number one. This is a case that I got originally. Um, got this in GameStop. This is about 10 bucks. It uh, is made by Nintendo. It's called the uh, Nintendo System Binder. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a little bulky. However, um, I'll open up for you. Uh, the main compartment whole houses actually the, uh, the DSi itself. Um, like so. All right. Then you got the uh, three slots right here for the DSi games. Three more slots right here, and actually space for st extra styluses and a random pocket for random stuff. Cool. Uh, it when it's inside, it actually feels pretty secure. It doesn't slide around in there. You could kind of throw it around a little bit. Feels like uh, if I drop this down a flight of stairs, it'd be perfectly fine. Almost perfect, yes. However, here lines a problem. These, these infernal things. Why or why did they have to make these out of uh, steak leather? So here I am trying to put in the standard issue uh, DS cartridge. This happens to be Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, the first one. Love it, uh, big fan of the series. I'm actually um, playing them all over again. Because, uh, you know, waiting for that new one to come out, Miles Edgeworth. Anyway, so uh, you try to put in the cartridge. It goes in. Yeah, cool. However, let's try to take it out now so we can play the game. No, no, you can't because you know what? These things are ridiculously tight, so you got to push. Boom. See, the thing is, um, this one is actually a little bit loosened up because I've been kind of trying to do this for a while. Not cool. Not cool. I mean, for me to do that much work to take out a cartridge uh, is ridiculous. I mean, it, it, you know, I feel like I'm going to rub the, the sticker off doing this. And I can only imagine, I'm not even going to try, but I can only imagine that. If I had a game in here, and I have a game in here on the other side, it probably would be catastrophic and deadly. So I'm not even going to attempt that. Uh, kids don't try it at home. All right, so otherwise, cool case. I love it. Um, but, you know, obviously not enough. So that I ended up trying to get another one. So that brings us to Specimen 2. Okay, this uh, is also made by Nintendo. It is the official Nintendo DSi system wallet. Sounds very official. Very, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so anyways, it's uh, actually a lot smaller than this case. As you can see, it's not as uh, bulky. It's got a magnetic uh, magnetic hatch thing. Well, actually, there's a magnet right there and a magnet right there. Right there, actually. So that when it closes shut, it doesn't kind of flap up on you. It's cool. All right. And three uh, Nintendo DS cartridge slots. These I was excited about because guess what? They did it right. Yes. No fake leather this time. Instead, it's uh, this whatever that is material. Feels like um, that stuff they put in your... Uh, your socks, I guess, but whatever. It's it's cool. It holds it in place, and it's actually really easy to pull out. Exciting. But no, no, of course not. You know, God forbid we have a perfect case. So here's the problem. You see how I mentioned that it's a little bit less bulky? Well, Nintendo DSi happens to be a little bit wider than Nintendo DSi. So therefore, it needs cases that are a little bit wider. See, both this case. And this case, I made for the DSi. It fits in this case. However, this one, well, you could already see that it's almost, almost bigger than the case itself. 
So, oh, I gotta pause it for one second. Sorry guys, I'm back, I had to take a phone call. It was uh, Nintendo calling me to apologize for the uh, shoddy craftsmanship of these cases. Anyway, so, uh, as I was saying, you can already see that the system itself is pretty much, well, almost as, well, actually it is as wide as the case. Um, so, when you try to actually stick it in, you have to really use a lot of muscle strength to kind of really, really, really push it in, and there. Wow. I, I just had a workout. I mean, I was sweating buckets. Not cool. All right, so, uh, yeah, this wouldn't be so bad, but <laughs> the whole point of the case is that the magnetic lock thing is for it not to flap around. Well, guess what? When the system is actually in there, uh-huh, that's right, the the flap doesn't even reach all the way to where the magnet is, so it does flap around. Great. Anyways, um, so you, if you thought that, you know, the pain and suffering was over, it's not, because guess what? Now you probably want to, you know, pull this thing out of your pocket and play a game. Well, too bad, little Timmy, you can't. And the reason why you can't is because, well, if you can actually manage to get your fingers in, that I don't have the biggest hands, in, in, inside here to pull it out, well, you best be, you best have gone to the gym for the past couple of years because, oh, it's going to take some strength. Boom. Wow. Wow. What a disaster. Not cool. See, why, why, why couldn't they get this right? All they had to do, yeah, matter of fact, you know what, Nintendo uh, exec people, watch this. I'll give you a free advice. It'll make you millions of dollars. All you have to do is take this, apply it to this, and you got yourself a perfect case. Feel free to send me 90% commission. Or royalty, whatever it is. Oh, and what pisses me off even more is, um, this is the box from this case. Okay, so see, if the box would have said it's for a Nintendo DS Lite, that's one thing. However, on the price sticker itself, DSi, 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 and in case uh, you don't, English is not enough for you, only for DSi, uh, French I think, solamente pour oui oui oui, ho, 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 DSi, and Spanish, solamente para DSi, wow, wow, way to uh, lie to people in three different languages, and guess what, that's the official Nintendo seal of quality. Shame, Nintendo. Shame, shame. <sighs> oh well. I guess for now I'll just use this case. Hope for the best. Well, maybe I'll uh, see if I can pick something up next week. If I find something cool, maybe buy a third party. Because clearly, you know, the makers of the system itself can't cut it. And again, there's no way, you know, there's n by no means do I hate Nintendo. I don't, obviously. I like their system. I like their games. But, you know, simple things. It's not that hard to get these right. Simple things. Well, till then. Bye, guys. Oh, P.S. Uh, next week, I'm going to actually post up a review of the brand new Verizon Google Droid phone. Wow, exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Stay tuned. This is going to be worth it. Till then, guys. Have fun. See you soon. Pyroblenny, out.